The Federal High Court in Lagos has dismissed the suit filed by the Manufacturer Association Nigeria Man challenging the increase in electricity tariffs for Band A customers. The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission, NERC, stated that the case was struck out because Man failed to exhaust the dispute resolution mechanisms outlined in the Electricity Act 2023, making the lawsuit premature and an abuse of court process. Man had contested the tariff hike, which was implemented in April 2024, claiming that the procedures of the tariff review were not properly followed. They also argue that applying the inquiry solely to band A feeders who receive at least 20 hours electricity daily was discriminatory. However, the court failed in favor of NERC or ruled, the court ruled in favor of NERC upholding the tariff increase. Love day. Where do we begin from here? Because I know that a lot of people, when they heard about this, they're like, oh, thank God. It seems like there's some light at the end of the tunnel. Seriously. Mm. I'm telling you. And I was even uh, also warming up to follow suit because, uh, like in my own area, I've always advocated and, uh, you know, believe that what will help to address the issue of, let me use the word unreasonable electricity tariff, is just a court process, you know, to initiate... Okay. A, 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 a legal action against the PHED, like in our own uh, zone. You call it estimated, and we have asked, what are the parameters for estimation? Now, for those using a, a prepaid meter, you see them increasing tariff. Some of them are no longer comfortable to. They move you to, you must get your prepaid. And some of them have gotten the prepaid, even when we are aware they're supposed to be provided uh, you know, by, by, by the organization or well, the company. You have company. to pay. You but have to pay na, na, huge for it Now you, ha you have to pay, definitely. Mm. Now, at the end of the day, they are also charging you something that you can't really explain. Now, the issue of electricity and the exorbitant charges is, is, is on head of it, something else. Hearing that the case was, you know, dismissed for not following due process or properly constituted is like loss of hope. To, to most Nigerians, yeah. I for one. Because I was thinking that most of Nigerians, most of us consumers, that we are suffering because we have not, uh, we have not actually leveraged on the uh, legal provisions and all of that. We've not challenged some of the things we are passing through in court. But hearing this, even without the court trying to investigate and analyze some things, well, uh, it's, it's quite unfortunate. I don't know where we're heading to from here. It's the investigation that brought up the, the talks about the dialogue it, process it, not being completely yeah, but you also, utilized it, it, and all of you that. You also saw or heard man's uh, position. Yes. Even yes. when the tariff was increased they, from their own angle too, there were no... Uh, um, there wasn't uh, due process. Due process was not followed. Mm. You know. So how do we balance? How do we oh, balance the equation now? Kenneth, I don't know what I don't know <laughs> what band you're on. First of all, <laughs> love the what band are you on? Because the way you're talking, it seems like you're on band A. Yeah, yeah. You're in, on my, band in, a. in my business place, okay. that's where I am. Mm. Then while uh, in my residential apartment. I mean, I think band, uh, band D or there also. Yeah, band D. <laughs> you know, like so, so there, we don't, uh, right. we don't even expect electricity. Wow. Anytime you see, you take. Okay, Kenneth, can you hear me? Kenneth, do we still have you here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yes. Um, for the electricity tariff hike and the increase so far, ever since the month when it was announced, how has this really affected you as a Nigerian? The electricity tariff, the hike on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, it's been, it's been good. I think it's one of the good things that's done is that there's always power. There's always power, but you know, you don't pay. You pay higher than, <laughs> than expected. So we don't even know. It's like uh, between the devil and the red pussy. You don't know which one to take. Is it that they reduce the, the tariff hike and uh, uh, increase the light or to increase the power supply and reduce the, the tariff hike? But so you're saying, you're saying you have had increased hours of light. That's increased hours of power supply, right? Exactly, yes. yes. That is the advantage of it. So what band are you? You don't pay double, you don't pay triple the amount you paid before. Mm -hmm. See? So it's like a difficult decision to make. 
Why did it very difficult? Uh, so far, so good. You know, we are getting there. Let them be constant power supply. And, uh, let the, the, our income be increased. Let the, the, the sustenance supply, what sustains on, let them be employment, let them be job creation, let them be wealth creation. I believe that the issue of the high pain and electricity tariff will be a problem. The major concern is let them be power. There are some places that are willing to work hard to make sure that they pay so that they can be constant in poor hour power supply. So once there's power supply, what we can do is that we'll be less work hard to make sure we meet up with the target. That is just my take on it. All right, you, you sound like one of those ideas that will say, you know what, it doesn't matter how much you want me to pay for this, just give me light. Give me power. So, oh, oh, okay. I'm reading your mind. All right, but but it's not looking like Love Day has the same the same thought here. Yeah, uh, you know, like my colleagues can said over there, is um, it all boys and there's no person that doesn't want power, a uh, good power supply. Mm. But when you consider what you earn, what comes into your hand at the end of the month or daily and what you expected to pay it becomes a major challenge. Okay. There's nobody that doesn't want light. Okay. So the issue here is the state of the economy, mm. what Nigerians are passing through. If you're going to provide, you know, 20 hours minimum, you know, power supply for those that are on band A, and if at the end of the day the business environment is not favorable, there is no job, you're living in an area that is... Uh, being covered uh, uh, with band A, and then you're not doing a very good job, or you're working, and because of this tight economic situation, people that are supposed to patronize you are not, where will you get the money to pay from? So is it that the equation mm -hmm. cannot be balanced until, even when the government tries to do the needful in terms of providing jobs, creating more industry, the equation may not really be balanced. However, the issue of power supply is one paramount thing that Nigerians have been advocating for, just like the issue of uh, so, uh, fuel, mm. uh, petrol. But the challenge we are now having is on the price. So there should be some form of review and special consideration, knowing that most persons that are supposed or that are beneficiary of this particular uh, initiative currently does not have the capacity. To, to handle the financial uh, all right so like you said make jobs available that is it improve the um, living of nigerians and then they'll be able to afford a part sure. come in please okay thank you you know the the provider the government the first thing god said was let them be lives and they will lives and they will lives so i want us to ask Did you say on good internet? Network. Yes. Please, when you say the free Wi-Fi, is it one we're expecting from the government or is it part of the things you say we can provide for ourselves? No, that is what I'm saying what government can do for us. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Ken. Let's free Wi Fi. How do you? Uh, that, that's that's the question that will be the digital world now. But everybody should should have something to do with it, the it, digital yeah, world. Everybody right now. should, but that's uh, where we are. Yeah, but everybody cannot. Even agriculture has gone digital. De definitely. So we're, tell me how you're not. You're not. Are you aren't you there? Where where Nigeria has not gotten to the point where everybody at this point, maybe in the next uh, few years to come, because we still have some of our age parents still living. And some of them, uh, they need the manual means to survive and all of that. So once you say if government uh, uh, provide electricity, you know, 24 hours electricity, give us free Wi-Fi, that the government can go and rest. No, those that are not 
in this. So the government needs to balance the equation. You know, there are other, you know, developmental uh, projects, okay. but definitely, like he said, power hmm. is very much key. All right. Power is critical. But aside uh, power provision of uh, improved power supply, the government should also do some other other developmental uh, project that will impact if governance is all is should be all about impact impacting the people not minding your level your level of exposure and okay. experience and that is why when we begin to uh, talk about the project that directly impacts the people that should be done by the government mm. power comes in road infrastructure uh, 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 of course you know hospital uh, rural uh, uh, right. hospitals and all of that mm. so Th that's, that's it. Thank you so much.